What is up everybody and welcome to FLW Videos. This episode is actually a follow-up to last week's episode where we were on the journey to try to discover what was the best way to hatch eggs or collect distance in Pokemon Go. You guys absolutely smashed that like button and as far as a quick recap for that, we ended up testing out a couple different methods. The first one being just playing it like normal, we went on a one kilometer route and we ended up collecting a distance of 0.8 kilometers. Then we hooked up the Go Plus and also got 0.8 kilometers, but then we ended up getting the king of all methods. Just staying at home and shaking your phone up and down for a couple of minutes. They ended up collecting a total distance of 1.1 kilometers, so that is the benchmark that we are trying to beat. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into those results, but if you do enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. So the biggest criticism from episode one was that I didn't go out and use Adventure Sync the way that it was meant to be done. They said, why didn't you go out and jog? Why did you actually use your bike? So that is actually what we will be testing today. The first one is just, okay, if I go out and jog with my phone in my hand, what is the total distance that we will collect? Well, the results ended up being that we collected one kilometer distance, and of course it was on the one kilometer course. So that's actually some good results. We basically got credit for what we ended up going out and running. But of course, it doesn't beat just staying at home and shaking your phone. So we wanted to dig a little deeper. I had a lot of people recommend to me that I should actually just put my phone in my pocket and it can get way more distance. So that is what we tested next. So of course the results for just putting your phone in your pocket and just running actually ended up getting results beyond just the one kilometer. This is the one of the first times outside we ended up surpassing it. The total distance ended up being 1.3 kilometers. So now we officially have a new champ 1.3 kilometers on a one kilometer basis just going out having your phone in your pocket, of course, Pokemon Go turned off, but I didn't want to stop there. I said, well, why is that working and not waving your arms? And is there a way to simulate it? And ladies and gentlemen, you are not gonna believe what ended up being the best. I decided to go ahead and pull out a sock out of my drawer, put the phone in the sock, and then simply move it up and down to simulate the phone being in your pocket. And of course, you can do this from the comfort of your home, but I ended up doing this for about seven to eight minutes, and then the results ended up coming in, and I, I can't believe this. This was better than staying at home, shaking your phone, getting out there, doing all of this crazy stuff. And the results ended up being 1.6 kilometers after doing this for about seven minutes. This is easily the best method that I have personally seen so far. I just can't believe that putting a phone in the sock, yes, that is weird, that's wild, you know, whatever. I guess now we need to go do this on a bike while we move our arms up and down, that would get a little weird, but regardless of that, this is currently the best method that I have actually found. 1.6 kilometers in about seven minutes is actually really good. So I wanna go ahead and pass that off as the question of the day to you. What are some of the best methods that you have seen with Adventure Sync? Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next time. Since this video ended up being a little bit on the shorter side, I thought I might as well go ahead and show you a couple of the hatches that I was able to do while I was out doing this experiment. And then on the other hand, just answering some common questions that people have about Adventure Seek. So the first one, do I have to have Pokemon go up for this to work? The answer is no, you actually need to have Pokemon Go turned off. And I don't mean just don't have the app up, completely turn it off, do not have it on in the background for Adventure Sync to actually work. And then the second question is Adventure Sync versus Pokemon Go, you know, how does the distance actually get calculated? Well, basically Pokemon Go calculates it using GPS and focuses on, well, distance. Adventure Sync, on the other hand, just converts the steps into distance. So because of that, you don't even actually use GPS. This is why I can just sit in my house and just bounce a phone around in a sock and it will work. You can also get on a treadmill and it will work. If you were to do all of those activities in Pokemon Go, you would get no distance unless you got some type of GPS drift. But anyways, those were the most common questions. Definitely excited about some of those eggs that I was able to hatch. If you do enjoy this type of content and want to see more experiments like this, definitely let me know in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. I wanted to extend a huge thank you to the supporters over at Patreon. You definitely make this possible and I 100% appreciate this support. If you are interested in supporting my channel on Patreon, definitely feel free to check out the link in the description.